Hey YouTube, I'm going to turn the amp down a bit first time. I just tried to do this video before and I had the amp up too loud. One of the problems with when you sit next to your amp rather than sitting where the amp is, the camera is getting the sound from it absolutely blasted at you. Anyway, right, so this guitar, whoever buys it, down is the outer coils and this switch, down is off, up is on. Right, so this is an Ibanez RG series from 2007, I think. It's an RG321MH. MH being mahogany body. It was black when I bought this, um, and it, I think that the paint was all scratched off. Someone had sat and sort of scratched their name into it, so I sanded it down. Didn't do a fantastic job of sanding it down. It looks okay, sort of, on the front. It's a bit. I should have gone down another couple of grades of sandpaper, really. So that's really the, the only downside of this guitar. It's a bit. Mm. Looking. <laughs> it's all solid, though. Right, um, so it's got the, it's got a bound neck, massive frets on it, 24 of, That's the this is the Wizard 2 neck, if you ever fancy trying the speed metal neck, so it's a three part, you know, it's a three part neck on the back, the way the Japanese used to do it, brilliant, it's got the all access neck joint, so you can get right up to the 24th fret, or right past the 24th fret, and play above the pickups, volume tone, five way switch, uh, I've added, some switches which I will talk about. Uh, yeah, so I've had this a couple of years. I used to have, just it, it was originally just two humbuckers and I just routed out this the other day, or today even, for the middle pickup, which is an S2, which goes with the V8 and V7, which you get in higher up Ibanez. The prestige ones come with these. I don't know how, how old they were, I just bought them as parts. And the S2 I've had for years. I can't remember what I did with the V7 and V8 that went with that originally. So it kind of got rid of it out of my parts box. I was like, yeah. So and so this is different from all the other RG321 MHs you see because they didn't come in HSH. They were only HH. So this has got a different operation for it. The original five-way switch I really liked in an Ibanez RG because all you had was a volume tone and a five-way switch. And the five-way switch on the outside positions just gave you the three, you know, outside was just neck, and the middle was both of them, and then the, the that position that was bridge on its own. But in position, in that position, you got the neck pickup wired, sort of wired parallel instead of series, so it sounded like a hum cancelling single coil. And when you put it into position four, you know, between these two, when that one's not there, <laughs> it gave you inner coils or outer coils of these which gave you a sort of stratty cleany sound so you had two totally usable strat sounds just in the five-way switch which i thought was fantastic so that's not there anymore now i've got the, the five-way switch is set up the way you would expect it to be in a strat so you've just got bridge bridge and middle 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 and neck neck yep just as you would expect these switches here yeah, these are humbuckers Mike, can i if I sit back, you can sort of see them. I'm an HD, so I can probably do it from sitting back here. Yeah, so when they're in the middle, when these, these the top two switches are three-way switches, the the top one goes for this pickup, the next one goes for this pickup, and if you push them, if you put them in the middle for humbuckers, if you push them down, it gives you the, the outer two coils on these, so, well, yeah, and if you push them both up, it gives you the inner two coils which still work with your five-way switch. So you can choose, you know, any position you've, you can, you've got those options. And the last switch is a Mad Dog switch, which used to get on Burns guitars. And I've seen, I think Dave Gilmore Strat's got it as well. Basically, it just overrides the five-way switch and sticks the neck pickup on. So whatever you're doing with the five-way switch, the neck pickup is on, which gives you, so if you're in the, in the bridge position and you hit that switch, it turns on the neck. So you get the two outside pickups which you can't get on a strat and then if you put it into position two you get all three on so you can get all three so by manipulating these controls you can get any one of the five coils and any or any two or any three or any four or any five in combination they can all be done yeah <laughs> so I, I, this hasn't turned on just now because the fan's quite loud and it comes through so i'm going to try and play this quite quietly so it doesn't overload the camera like it was earlier on See if you plug the guitar into the app, it makes more noise. Something wrong with that pedal. Right. It's so annoying having 
having a 60 watt amp in the house. That's it. As slow as, low as I can get it. I'll have to turn it down a wee bit on the guitar. to go. Yeah, so just now we're on bridge pickup humbucker. Down gives you the outer coil which would be the one that's got the V8 written on it. And up would give you the inner coil. And we go to the neck pickup. This is a humbucker. This is down for the outer coil. Inner coil. So that's an inner coil, so if we put that into position, next position on the switch to give you both of these, you get your strati one or that one. I'm not going to run through all the different combinations because they're not quite easy there if you're doing what you're doing. So that would be, if you, if you put that to bridge and then flip that switch up and then push both the switches down, you've got the outside coils. All the speed metal stuff as well, which obviously won't spoil. Yeah, so just going to sell this on before I get attached to it. I think if nobody buys it, I might paint it. I was going to paint it. There's something about Ibanez RGs that for me just... I don't know if it's maybe just because too many people use them or too many bands like Korn and stuff that I don't really like use them, but there's something that just doesn't have... doesn't do it for me. As a tool, it's totally brilliant. It's a design masterpiece, it really is. It's just got everything. It's got the high access. It's light. It's got good balance. It's got a really easy to play neck I mean it really is absolutely flawless as a like a tool it's just there's something about it that just looks too clinical and like a tool you know it's like that's why you often see these um with they've obviously people have just tried to jazz them up you know it's like you get the swirl paint jobs and paint them crazy colors just to try and give it that coolness factor which it just doesn't to me just doesn't seem to have you know not compared to like a like that that white let me see the, the white Wash button you can see there, that's just so much cooler than this. Obviously it's got its problems with being neck heavy and you know, doesn't have good great access to all these things, but this this does all that. It's just it just doesn't look as cool. So if you fancy delving into the RG world, give it a shot. This is the one to go for. None of your nasty Floyd Rose stuff. Um Rock and roll. <laughs>